Hey, what's up, guys? I'll be right here. So, today I want to look at a game controller or a gamepad, whatever you want to say. Basically, something you use to control a game. I'm talking about the generic ones, not the Xbox or PlayStation type. A simple generic wired game controller. So, if you're trying to make it work in Linux system, it can be a little bit tricky for various reasons. We'll be tackling that one by one. So there are like three scenarios. First scenario is that your gamepad is not being detected in the game. It detects, it's been detected by the host machine, but not through the compatibility layer like Proton or Vine. Like if you're playing games through Steam or non-Steam games, there are a couple of reasons like it may not be detected inside of the game. Well, that's something common. And there is something else like sometimes your game controller is being detected, but the key presses are all jumbled up. If you press one thing, it's using or it's reading that as something else. I faced this issue in Assassin's Creed 3, 4, 5, whichever Assassin's Creed games, the new ones. So I thought, what's happening? There might be something. Yeah, there is something which really messes this thing. And the reason for that is most games out there, it tries to read your controller as an Xbox One. So even if it's not an Xbox One, it'll try and read it as an Xbox controller. So that's when everything gets messed up. So we'll see how you can fix that and tell Wine to use a certain mapping. That is the correct mapping of your game controller. That's it. And the third scenario, your game is so retro, it doesn't have a controller support. <laughs> We're not going to be looking too much into that, but that's like a last resort. Maybe you need it, who knows? So let's see, let's look at everything one by one. Okay, here we go. Inside Steam, you gotta go to settings and controller. Here, the basic thing is you just have to disable Steam input. That would mean like looking for enable steam input for generic controllers. It would be like this by default. We just turn it off. It will be saved. Let's say in your game library uh, here. If you look at this game, it have a problem and that would be if you go to properties and controller it have to be disabled that means the generic controller it needs to be disabled why disable it you don't need the steam input steam input really is it could mess up games or it could save games it would be helpful for some games but the first thing you have to try is just turn off steam input and let the game read your controller as it is not through some other layer which maps or remaps your control so make sure it's disabled only the steam controller and remote play is enabled okay i just have disabled the steam input here that's it one more thing here in the controller settings make sure it doesn't have like two connected symbols like this blue thing if more than one controller is showing up when actually you just have one it could happen for various reasons if you're using something like input remapper if you know what i mean input remapper is like a program here you go input remapper right. if you're using this it could happen that there are like two controllers showing up one is your original controller and second is the input remapper it can happen make sure you don't use this thing when you're gaming it may be running and you can see something like xbox controller and generic controller 
when actually it's just your generic controller. So that's the first scenario covered. Second scenario would be your controller inside of the games. It's like really wacky, really incorrectly mapped. That's when we have to really do this thing. It's called SDL2 Gamepad tool. This tool, with this tool, you can do one thing. You can find or you can set the correct mapping for your game controller. What do I mean by that? Let's check out. Just first download this thing and install. I install this latest version or here you can see I installed it and you can see it's here what do you have to do let me resize my text a bit here if you can see this thing it's an Xbox control right so this thing's function is to map your generic controller to that of an Xbox controller. That would mean it will help every game out there to read your controller as an Xbox controller because that's what they're trying to do. Okay. So first thing, just create a new mapping instead of copying the map string which you get by default, create a new mapping. Okay. Create a new mapping and press these buttons it's asking you to press one by one when it asks you to press these buttons which you don't have you can skip it and move on to the next buttons okay you got it just press ok and you got your controller config or mapping you could set here set mapping as environment variable here this will make sure your native Linux games will pick up your controller properly but as of wine or other compatibility layer games you have to set it manually for every game by using an environment variable how do you do that just copy the string from here copy mapping string okay and then open up your text editor and paste it here okay you can see it's a long string just one line and at the end there is a comma you don't need that comma okay that's it save it here for now now we need something else let's say you're using the terminal to launch your games how do you set an environment variable Let's see. Basically, you can set your environment variables in different things like Steam, Lutris, your terminal or game script. I'll show you all of it. So keep an eye out for whichever one you're using. So this is the basic format for a script. You don't have to like set a variable equal to this. You don't have to do any of this. You could do like this. Let's let's see now. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna type in env stl game control config. This is the variable. Or I don't know. I shouldn't call this a variable. This is like the environment variable that you're gonna change. STL game controller config equal to within chords you paste in that other thing you copied. I told you to remove the comma at the end, right? That's it. Now paste it within the chords. Oh no, not this. This long string. Copy and paste cool now wine and your exe file or whichever command you use 
to run your script. Cool. This is what I've basically done. You can use this command to run every time or you could use a script like I've done here. I've just set a variable like SDL mapping equal to this thing, this long string that we have copied from last time. And I've done the same thing, just basically replace this string with the environment variable or not the environment variable, with the variable I set here. For this environment variable, SDL game controller config. That's all, it's basically the same thing. You could save this as a script and this is the format. And if you're using a script, make sure you give it executable permission, otherwise it won't launch. Well, if you don't know how, here. Here's a script. This script is just this. You can save it and properties, permissions, allow executing file as a program. This is essential. <laughs> okay, you don't miss out on this simple step. Cool. What about inside of Lutris and Steam? Okay. If it's Lutris, you can do something. Go to configure and system options. Here you can set the environment variable. Okay, I've already set this thing. Just gonna delete it. Oh, Steam, you're opening now? Fine, wait. Just add a new variable and on the key, you have to paste in that name. What is it? The STL game controller config. Copy that here to the key. And for the value, you need this value this long string copy that and paste it here that's it it's been done now you can save your steam no no lutris then it should work fine if the game is already working it should have mapped properly for the current game you're trying to run through lutris so that's it for Lutris. What about Steam? In Steam, you gotta do like here. Inside of uh, properties of the game, you can see launch options. You just have to add a launch option like the same, like we just did for the script. Okay, here you go. It's like env stl game controller config equal to okay env stl game controller config equal to that long string within chords and instead of this wine game file exe you can do like percentage command percentage cool that's it just copy this whole thing it should be one line that's how steam asks you to set your launch option cool that is done now you can exit out and it will be saved just double check things okay and your controller it's disabled don't worry about it saying disabled it's just gonna read your controller as it is that's the good thing I haven't talked too much about like steam input or setting things up in steam and the reason for that is I found this thing more reliable using this SDL gamepad config. Let's take a look at the third scenario that is your game is really retro. <laughs> in that case the only option would be to use something like anti micro X. I'll link it in the description. You can download it from there. So anti-micro-x is very simple. 
you just have to map your controller first you have to set the mapping properly here like for every button just map it cool that's it once you map it you can save it here and from then you can like set all these things one by one if you press your game controller it'll show what that button is you just go and set it actually it have a lot of like advanced settings you just have to play around with this i'm not going to be covering this thing too much this method is not recommended unless your game controller or your game it doesn't recognize your controller at all that would be like uh, your game is really retro and you can like save your controller configs just save it and while playing make sure you load the correct stuff and that's basically it nothing much oh not this anti micro x anti micro x is like a new version of anti micro here anti micro x right you can download it from your github yeah that's it So for good measure, I have made a GitHub gist and documented this thing or just written all the codes and all the links you need. So if you ever want to like check it out, go ahead. Just make sure you replace this big string with your own mapping, not mine. Get your own mapping from this gamepad config tool which also I'll link in the description. I hope this is all, I guess. Yeah, this is all. You can find all the commands inside of this gist. I'll be, I'll be linking it to the description, so don't worry. See you next time and have fun.